everyone is trapped here. In this strongly uptrending market, gold suddenly in the last two session of the previous week suddenly has dropped and we need to look at why this happened. Now in this weekly forex forecast, we will find out why gold has got such a strong drop and everyone was stopped out during this huge drop giving another opportunity to trade the gold and i will be looking at now one by one including gold dxy and all the usd pairs and in this is that you can see traders on the list will be doing a complete multi-time frame analysis to see what is the next opportunity for us in all of them in the upcoming week now if we look at the calendar we can see that there was a huge uh, move past week as you can see and this week also full of events starting on monday three high impact news and also tuesday wednesday thursday as well as friday so this week also will be a big move in the market which is good for us as a trader we need the volatility and volume in the market so let's begin this week's weekly forex forecast now before i begin this important multi-time frame analysis for the weekly forex forecast i would appreciate if you give a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet this is forex wizard from forex trading wizard academy so without further delay let's begin this week's weekly forex forecast Okay, data. so let's begin first of all with DXY. As usual, as DXY will give us clear direction, removing all the noise from the lower time frame. Looking at the monthly chart on DXY. Now, from the monthly, we can see that previous months DXY has formed a pin bar, which is in fact a very strong liquidity grab from the previous monthly low that has given dxy a high probability for this month to remain bullish now if we look at this market structure we can see that this is the starting of this move to the downside and as the market already has broken this 61.8 percent fibonacci level if we place our fibonacci here from high to the low we can see that the price already has crossed that uh, mean golden ratio of the fibonacci and it's also above 78.6 percent so which most likely that gold will try to break this high or even at least retesting this resistance on the monthly which is high probability that dxy will remain bullish in the upcoming weeks as well now let's look at the weekly chart to see overall picture in the market now from the weekly we can see that this is the weekly impulse here followed by this correction we have seen another impulse followed by a correction now we can see that from the weekly dxy again has broken towards the upside with a strong bullish price section this is the weekly bullish candle this week we might see initial pullback and we can expect it to remain to the upside now looking at the daily chart to see a bit of clearer picture we can see that from the daily the market has bounced with this bullish engulfer from this 20 EMA after this pullback followed by there is a narrow doji and last day of trading week we saw another bullish candle now with this move it's still continuing to the upside and we can see that the price already has broken out of the structure we can expect for the price to go ahead and to create a new higher high or at least to retest this important level of resistance here looking at the intraday perspective to see a bit of clearer picture we can see that it's a strongly uptrending market we have seen that there was an impulse followed by consolidation and we have seen another impulse we might see with the market open a bit of consolidation and liquidity grab. we will be waiting for the xy to start it's another impulse and based on the price action confirmation we can look for going long with a high probability 
trade setup now based on dxy now we will be looking at all the usd pairs including gold so make sure that you stick till the end of this very important weekly forex forecast now let's begin with aud usd as just the mirror of dxy aud usd if we look at the monthly chart we can see that from the monthly previous months a long week dodgy in this strongly falling market followed by a pullback and we can see that there is another bearish candle on the monthly time frame on AUD USD now this is the monthly candle so far the price below this previous monthly low and we can expect it to remain bearish as we can see that this market is showing strong bearish pressure if we look at the weekly chart we can see that from the weekly there is a long bearish engulfer and with this bearish engulfer the price currently below this support level here and with this long bearish engulfer on the weekly we can see that the price basically breaking down from this head and shoulder this is the head left shoulder and the right shoulder now with that breakdown we can expect a UD USD to remain bearish to create a new lower low now if we look at the daily chart we can see that from the daily perspective on AUD USD we can see this is an impulse followed by a very small correction we have seen another impulse and complete breakdown the price below this significant level of support here support here and also we can see that the price already candle has closed below this level we will be waiting for retest and then continue towards the downside now looking at the intraday perspective we can see that there is a clean trend a strong breakdown correction liquidity grab and we have seen another bearish pressure here we'll be waiting for a consolidation and liquidity grab as soon as we can see the price has given a suitable entry opportunity according to the rules of our strategies we we'll look for going short on AUD USD with a high probability trade setup now let's look at euro dollar now as we can see the dxy we are expecting it to be bullish we can expect euro dollar to be bearish so to be precise let's first look at the monthly chart now monthly perspective we can see that previous months euro dollar has formed a bearish pin bar with a long week with a narrow body now this month we can see that after initial pullback the market has broken down with a long bearish candle now euro dollar currently after this move back to back three months of bullish move has dropped and we can see that the price currently approaching this monthly support level and as we are expecting dxy to go ahead and to retest we can expect euro dollar to remain bearish to create a new lower low now if we look at the weekly chart we can see that from the weekly perspective after this previous weekly narrow bullish candle this week we can see that euro dollar has broken this weekly support level and this is the weekly support the price already below this support level expecting it to break and the, and then close back already we have seen that uh, already the price has broken that low and closed back below waiting for a pullback and then to return back to the downside now if we look at the daily chart we can see that from the daily this is the uh, support level that the price already has broken initially we have seen that a bit of reaction with this daily candle but the bulls couldn't break that high and couldn't create a new higher high we saw that there was a complete breakdown from that level and candle close below so we could see a bit of pullback with the market open which you're expecting and then to remain bearish as what is dropping is likely to drop that's the law of trading now if we look at the intraday time frame on euro dollar we can see that there's a complete breakdown followed by a middleman here and we see that this middleman is quite significant as on euro dollar with this middleman the price has grabbed the liquidity and completely broken down again and giving another probability for further drop and currently the price on euro dollar is in a very strong downtrend and any kind of consolidation and liquidity grab on the lower time frame we can look for going short on euro dollar 
with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at gbp usd now looking at the monthly chart on gbp usd we can see that from the monthly there is a long week dodgy here on the monthly on gbp usd and the price has broken all this high closed as a long bearish candle and what we can see on gbp usd from the monthly the price has broken completely and we can expect this price to remain bearish for long term perspective on gbp usd as we can see that on euro dollar AUD usd all of them currently bearish as they almost move in the same direction we can expect gbp usd to remain bearish now looking at the weekly chart we can see that there is a big drop narrow two dodges here on the weekly and the price has broken that high and we can see that after breaking all this high completing a head and shoulder gbp usd has broken down on the weekly and this weekly candle is a complete bearish engulfer with a, a strong liquidity grab which is a sign of potential further downside on gbp usd and expecting for this price to drop down to this support level now if we look at the daily chart on gbp usd we can see that a bit more a uh, clearer picture also there is a head and shoulder and we can see the price the bulls are completely uh, exhausted here with a very narrow dodgy the price is broken down expecting gbp usd to remain bearish to create a new lower low now if we look at the intraday time frame here on gbp usd we can see that from the intraday perspective this is the uh, support level on gbp usd and with that support what we can see the market has broken down completely and the price is maintaining series of lower high with this long breakdown we'll be waiting for gbp usd to break and then to give us another entry opportunity after a strong liquidity grab we will be looking to go short on gbp usd with a high probability trade setup now let's look at dollar cad let's see what kind of price action we have now looking at the monthly chart on dollar cad we can see that with the strengthening of dxy we can see dollar cad has broken to the upside completely with a very strong momentum now this is the monthly candle the price is showing a very strong bullish momentum expecting dollar cad to remain bullish to create a new higher high as what is going up is likely to go up that's the law of trading now if we look at the weekly chart on the dollar cad we can see that from the weekly after previous weekly middleman here which is basically a very strong breakout we can see that this week the price after pullback has broken to the upside with a very long bullish engulfer and currently the price is above this resistance level candle closed above what i think the dollar cad might remain bullish to create a new higher high as there is a resistance coming and we can expect now dollar cad to go ahead and test this resistance level now if we look at the daily chart on dollar cad we can see that from the daily there is a bullish candle followed by a narrow doji followed by another bullish candle with a very narrow week at the top expecting dollar cad after initial pullback to remain bullish to create a new higher high now looking at the intraday time frame on dollar cad we can see that from the uh, lower time frame perspective there is a move and we will be waiting for dollar cad to come down for a deeper pullback and once we can see the lower time frame pullback especially you can see this is the one hour chart where the market is maintaining this uptrending market structure we will be waiting for the price to break from that uptrend and then to give us entry opportunity so as soon as we find suitable entry on dollar care you will be looking to go long with a high probability trade setup now let's look at gold let's see what kind of opportunity we have in this market now looking at first of all daily chart we can see that gold bulls were trapped past week as you can see after this massive move the price immediately has broken 
last day of trading which was in fact a very strong breakdown that in fact has given gold a very high probability for another opportunity so first let's look at the higher time frame looking at the monthly chart now from the monthly we can see that gold is in a very strong bullish market structure this is the monthly candle that has healthy body and also healthy week at the top now as it is a very strongly uptrending market the price has made a move has come back down for a pullback and we could see that this week again the price is trying to fill that long week at the top now if we look at the weekly chart we can see that from the weekly perspective this is the weekly impulse followed by a long week candle now this weekly candle is quite significant as we see that in this uptrending market structure the price has created a bullish move followed by a deeper pullback and this is the weekly support level where the market has made a move what i think that this week we might see that the price might try to retest the support and then we can expect it to go up and fill that long week at the top now dropping down to the daily time frame where we can see that there is a daily bullish candle now this green candle is quite significant as from that support the market has made this move and at the same time after this daily drop the price is still maintaining series of higher low now there are two probability in the upcoming week is for the price to maintain that series of higher low and then to remain bullish the other probability is for the price to break this daily low which is the red candles low and i think that as the market has a very strong rejection we could see that the price is breaking that daily low and bouncing of this daily support level as it is maintaining series of higher low smoothly from this level any break of this low will be a very high probability for the price to move back up again so from two to three four to two three two five level is where this zone is a very high liquidity zone we'll be waiting to see the price to react to that level now as you can see it has made a significant move and also we saw that on the four hour time frame there was an inverted head and shoulder a complete breakout so the market structure is still intact and this is a smart money zone which is an order block and from that order block we saw the prices after this move the prices drop back down and at the same time there is a weakness candle here and this is high liquidity zone and what i think that with the upcoming uh, days trading days first day of trading week i will be waiting for another wave of drop on gold as we can see this market already over extended in the direction i will be waiting for gold to break that low especially testing this zone is a very sweet spot for us for potential bullish trading opportunity as if we see that the market has tested this level as it is a, a very long term uptrending market we will be waiting for a rejection in that area and as soon as we find suitable entry we will be looking for going long on gold with a high probability trade setup now if you want to enjoy this trade with us and also trade with us in forex trading wizard academy in our live trading room also you can join today now i have given a link below this video in the description there was a, a huge 80 percent discount coupon was given during the live session last week still if you have few spots to join with that 80 percent coupon you can join it where you can access the vip live trading room as well as all the tools that we are offering in forex trading wizard academy to enhance and improve your trading and be part of this trading community where you can learn and grow as a trader so now let's look at yen pairs starting with gbp jpy now gbp jpy if you trader can remember this is the a massive trade that we have taken during the live session from this zone and that has given us a huge four point 
8% gain and still this market is pushing high so probably you have witnessed that trade let's let's quickly look at now this week what we can expect on gbp jpy starting with the monthly chart to see overall picture in the market now from the monthly we can see that this is the monthly uh, impulse here on gj now with this monthly impulse back to back three months of bullish move this month we have seen that after initial bounce the price again has come back down to this monthly support and the price again trying to bounce back to the upside now if we look at the weekly chart we can see that there is another price action here on the weekly on gbp jpy and we can see where there is a back to back two liquidity candle in that area on gbp jpy and with that liquidity candle this week we saw the price has broken that low and we have seen an immediate rejection this is where we have opened our live trade in fact the price has broken that liquidity zone and we can expect now the for the price to bounce back up again to create a new higher high now if we look at the daily chart where we can see that from the daily perspective on gbp jpy this is the daily impulse followed by a correction and we can see the price is forming series of higher high and higher low now this daily candle is quite significant as this candle has a huge atr and also tested this significant support level what i think that this week after initial pullback we could see again gbp jpy bouncing of this level to retest any of this important resistance level now if we look at the intraday time frame where we can see that there was a breakdown and we have taken this uh, very high probability profitable trade from that zone what i will be waiting for another pullback towards the downside on gbp jpy now if you look at here we can see that from that zone the market has made a move and it's in a consolidation pattern and with that consolidation i will be waiting for another wave of liquidity grab and that might test this support which is the one hour green candle which this level which is 190 15 level to 190 level is another zone that we can look for rejection on the lower time frame if we find that suitable entry opportunity in that area on gbp jpy i will be looking to going long with a high probability trade setup now let's look at dollar yen let's see what kind of opportunity we have in dollar yen looking at the monthly chart we can see that from the monthly perspective on dollar yen we can see that this is the monthly impulse on dollar yen after the previous monthly pin bar this month we can see that dollar yen has got a bounce to the upside and with this bounce the price already above this monthly resistance level and we'll be waiting on dollar yen for the price to go ahead and then to create a new higher high now if we look at the weekly chart we can see that from the weekly perspective on dollar yen there is an impulse followed by narrow correction with a consolidation and the price already from the weekly after the previous weekly uh, liquidity candle this week the market has made significant bullish move and the price is closing above this level now if we look at the daily chart on dollar yen we can see that already uh, this market has broken out of that structure there is a liquidity candle here on dollar yen and i will be waiting for dollar yen to break this liquidity zone as this is a very high area of value now if we look at the intraday time frame on dollar yen we can see that there was a very nice looking consolidation a break from that structure and we have seen the price again has gone back up what i think the dollar yen uh, we might see another wave of drop breaking that low as there is a fair value gap here and we'll be waiting for the price to come back down again to invade that fair value gap to give us a long-term bullish trading opportunity now this is where i will be waiting on dollar yen for the price to break below this level and then to bounce back up to create 
a new higher high this is where i will be waiting as soon as we find suitable entry opportunity on dollar yen from this zone once we see the price has given a suitable entry look for going long with a high probability trade setup now let's look at us 30 wti and nasdaq now looking at first of all wti we can see the wti if we look at the monthly chart we can see that from the monthly perspective on wti back to back four months the price slowly moving up after this breakdown and the, as the prior market showing bullish momentum we could see that now wti boost taking that price to 90 point 76 77 dollar and if we look at the weekly chart here we can see that the market is still maintaining a bullish momentum and after this weekly impulse this week we saw a bit of pullback and what i think that in the upcoming week we might see that break of this low can give us another bullish entry opportunity now if we look at the daily chart on wti we can see that from the daily perspective this is the daily impulse here followed by consolidation liquidity grab another impulse we can see consolidation for the price to break that low and once we can see wti has broken that low grab that liquidity we will be looking to going long on wti if we look at the intraday perspective here we can see there is a consolidation waiting for the price to break that low and once we can see wti has broken that low once we can find suitable entry opportunity on wti we will be looking to go long with a high probability trade setup with our students now let's look at us 30 now looking at the monthly chart on us 30 we can see that from the monthly perspective us 30 after quite a few months of bullish momentum this month after breaking that high the price has broken down completely and we will be waiting for us 30 to drop a bit more as we can see the price has started to drop we could see deeper pullback in this market now if we look at the weekly chart we can see that for the back to back two weeks us 30 has made significant rejection and this week we might see after another drop expecting for a return to the original direction of the trend now if we look at the daily chart we can see that there was a head and shoulder here on the daily and we have seen the price already has broken down as we can see a primary change of trend in that zone we might see now us 30 coming back to this liquidity zone and this is where we might find locally bearish trading opportunity as this market on the lower time frame is trending towards the downside so this is where as soon as we see that us 30 has broken out has given a suitable entry opportunity especially this is the support level which is turning resistance we will be looking to go short on us 30 with a high probability trade setup now let's look at nasdaq let's see what kind of trading opportunity we have on nasdaq looking at the monthly chart on nasdaq we can see that from the monthly this is the monthly price section after back to back quite a few months of bullish move it's now coming for a pullback as it started to pull back we could see now some support to be broken on the higher time frame now if we look at the weekly chart we can see back to back three weeks us 30 form red candles with a gap opening so the bulls are not getting enough fuel therefore it needs fuel by grabbing liquidity from any of this important support level on the weekly and we could see that us nasdaq coming down further to create a new lower low now if we look at the daily chart on nasdaq we can see that daily the, the bulls tried to create a new higher high we have seen immediate breakdown and we'll be waiting for nasdaq for the price to go ahead and to give us another selling opportunity on the lower time frame now looking at the intraday perspective on nasdaq we can see that there was a smooth resistance line 
and there is a liquidity grab we will be waiting for another retest and then continue towards the downside and this is the resistance level that we can look for after a strong liquidity grab we can look for going short on nasdaq with a high probability trade setup now if you enjoy this uh, weekly forex forecast make sure you leave a like and also subscribe to the channel if you haven't done yet in addition to that if you want to join us today to learn the strategy that we are trading and also trade with us in the live trading room you can join today with a massive 80 percent discount which is ending tonight the coupon that you can find below this video in the description area you can use that coupon to access all the tools and strategies that we have in forex trading wizard academy with that being said thank you and i'll see you soon in another analysis